My name is Robin Waldrop. I'm a mother of two, happily married to my husband of 14 years. We met in college in the weight room. He played baseball, I played volleyball. Um, been an athlete most of my life and then got married, introduced into motherhood. Um, hunting and everything, all my hobbies took a back seat until recently, probably in the last five years. Kind of got back into it pretty good. And, uh, and recently we took up uh, adventure hunting, uh, you know, pushing the limits and challenging ourselves, which we love and enjoying it and look forward to do it as much as we can. With the opportunities that we have and are blessed with to go out and hunt, we still enjoy our family time. I mean, my kids are the world to me. And I enjoy that time, that after school time, picking them up and just the normal family life. But yet I enjoy taking them out. Like we go to our deer lease, we spend as much time as a family, whether it's game night or just, you know, homework time or dinner time. We eat dinner as a family every night. I make sure that's, that's a priority to me. I think that's a huge thing. It makes a huge impact on families. Um, so my big thing is family time, whether it's home, at the deer lease, or Will and I, like Will and I together. We're the nucleus of the family, so the time we spend together, whether it's on an adventure hunt or date night, it's huge, it's an impact. Our kids see that we enjoy the time together, we have these adventures together. Mom and dad are happy and love, and it, I think it you know, just trickles down into the kid's life and you know, our family life. Fast forward to February of 2015, um, just stepped out of the Western Sportsman Expo, and I've been checking my email all day, Alaskan Game and Fish. They said they were having a few hiccups or whatever, and, and we stepped out of that expo and I was like, I'm gonna check it one more time today and checked it and the results were up. So I remember scrolling down, scrolling down and it was like, no, no. And all of a sudden a big yes and like bold letters popped up and I was like, what? And so I was like, hold up everybody. I was with my husband and my two good friends and I had to like reread it and then read it out to them. And it was just like, what? Like I had no idea, like never thought the first year putting in for that tag, I would get drawn. So over the moon with excitement and then Will asked what unit was and I said, you know, DS-237 and he was like, what? He's just like, that's the hardest one. And I was like, what? So in my, I was overwhelmed with excitement but at the same time I was like, what have we gotten ourselves into? I don't know. So it was just the unknown but the excitement at the same time. So it was just such a cool moment and one that I'll always remember. Drawing a tag of a hunt of this caliber, knowing it'd be physically and mentally demanding, stepped into the gym every day with a few goals. Uh, one that if I did get a ram, I wanted to carry that ram's head out on my own with my pack, fully loaded with my stuff on my own. The other goal was to step on the Chugach Mountains knowing that I was in the best shape of my life. Some call me a sinner for the things I've done. This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Look for our on-site courses for tons of opportunity in learning outdoor video production at filmthehunt.com.
to get to the trailhead, you know, spirits are high, but you can tell there's kind of like a unknown probably feeling everybody's experiencing. As we're looking out the windows at these mountains next to us, like, oh my gosh, kind of like, did I do enough? Are we ready for this? Even with all the hours in the gym, all the preparation that I did. Still smiling. Even that wasn't enough to prepare me mentally or physically for this hunt. We started on the trail, packs full, and everybody weighed down, big smiles on our faces, and little did we know we had, um, we had a really, really big adventure in front of us, which was something that none of us will ever forget. It was a nice long day yesterday. Long. Started at one, got into camp about 9.30 last night. And then I have a good night's sleep, wake up, and we're just completely socked in with fog. Can't see anything. Kai and Lance think the rams are you know, within you know, eye shot of here, so we don't want to move too much and spook them. Wait for the, wait for the fog to clear a little bit and see what we gotta do. Either pack up camp and move, and, or if they're in the right spot, stay where we're at and wait for opening day tomorrow. Big day. Yeah. I sit in looking at the stars, awesome. playing games and chasing cars. Am I the king without a crown? I hear a voice inside me say, feel the blood flow through your veins as the memory it remains. Of these little springs that come out of the come out of the rock or how we gotta get water. It's tough sometimes getting water. So we figure out the Okay right there. Yep, pick that up. I got the bladder full. Yeah. I thought that's good enough for breakfast. That's all we used for breakfast this morning, so. Okay, so we'll fill up the water bottles. It's hard to believe that it's been almost 20 years since I started getting involved in the outdoor industry. I went to a school in Pikes Peak, Colorado for guiding and lo and behold, it wasn't a year later, I was working for an outfit up in Alaska. We flew in in July, I ended up taking three planes, we flew into Anchorage and out to this little town in Antioch and then out to my final destination which was Sleep Mute, Alaska. There were two memorable things about that trip, and one was packing out with my first moose, putting 140 pounds on your back, and walking out of the woods through some pretty 
crazy timber and marshes and it was it was a really incredible experience but we ended up having one of the guys crash our head guide with one of the hunters in it the wife was there it, there was blood curdling screams and i mean we went out there they were both standing in the in the in the lake i mean i'll just never forget it i thought i was going out there to pull out two dead bodies but i mean it was it was a pretty pretty crazy experience i'll say that alaska is full of experiences uh you know, those are, are two that just really stick out in my mind. And I've had a chance to go back with my family and, you know, I really started getting into photography. I got some awesome pictures of some bears. We've been doing some fishing with me and my dad and caught some kings and silvers. And this year we got a call from Will and Robin down here in Austin, Texas. She had drawn a coveted doll sheep tag in the Chugach Mountains. And I told Tom, I, I really want to take this. This is my dream hunt. It's my way of doing this hunt just with a camera in my hand. To be able to document this for Will and Robin, I mean, we're really looking forward to this trip. I had no idea what I was getting into. We'd almost gotten done with the second day and you know, Robin was really questioning whether she wanted to be there or not. At one point, things kind of started to fall apart mentally for me. So at some time, Will was going to be mentally down. She's going to say, have you ever been mentally down? And we're going to say, let me tell you. <laughs> One time I was in the Chugach Mountains. And she's going to go, are you sure? And you're going to go, let me explain to you. And she's going to go, what did you do about it, Mom? What did you do? This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Get an outdoor video education right from home with filmthehunt.com. Because he's gonna watch wind. He's way up on a hill like this. Like there's, like he's probably gonna see us, and I'm gonna get to 600. We're gonna throw down. He's gonna be looking at us. Yeah. And we'll play wind. And stuff. But what we need to do, we need to get out there. Doesn't matter. Here's what's gonna happen. Tomorrow morning at noon, we either have a sheep or we don't. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's gonna happen by then. At that point in time, I'm, I'm assuming. So you know where that waterfall came down on this side? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, that goes up into a big saddle. Up there. I'm assuming we can go around and go up and over down that saddle. It'll be easier going down than going this or we can. So you gotta give me two nights. Tonight, we will, we will be able to make it back from yeah. no matter what, from tomorrow all the way. Yeah. The next day we'll be back. country in here is not for the faint of heart. This is, you know, on the physical scale, on a 1 to 10, this is a 10. Um, and if you don't show up ready, both physically and mentally, uh, this country will just, it, it'll kick your butt and you'll never want to come back. But um, we are able to that evening uh, finally get a, a good look at the ram. All that hard work paid off and, and she was able to see him in the scope and then she started to get excited. We knew where he was at, the approach was going to be tough. He was up high in the, in the cliffs, we couldn't really get to him without him seeing us, so we got up at 3 a.m. We had breakfast and then we had about an hour's stalk in the dark.
Drop don't him. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Stop. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Drop him. You dropped him. <gasps> right? Okay, let's that. just wait, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Keep an eye out. You dropped him hard. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now. Don't drop drop him. I was introduced to hunting at a young age. That was what we did, you know, middle class back then was, you didn't go on extravagant vacations. It was like, everybody pack up your stuff, we're going to the lake, we're going out in the tents. Squirrel hunting was like the best thing ever. Like, that was the big hunt. Like, I didn't go on big game hunts ever as a child, um, but I remember those squirrel hunts, all six of us under that tree with our BB guns, loving it. Like, living the life as kids, like we thought that was the greatest thing. Now it's just, I mean, just such a passion and we love sharing that with our kids and our friends and it's, I mean, just great memories are made and, and recently we took up uh, adventure hunting, which we love and in one uh, particular adventure I had, Will was my camera guy, we had this elk coming in and got set up or whatever and he set up at a tree and I kind of moved down a little bit further and this elk was coming and he was hot, you know, and he was just coming in and bugling like crazy and he just kept coming and coming. And, I was like, man, he's getting close. And I was hiding in front of this tree and he just kept coming in and coming in. I was like, he is getting super close. And he came up maybe four yards, bugled straight in my face. And I just, in my mind, I'm thinking like, I can't believe this is happening right now. I hope Will is rolling with it. And that elk turned sideways and I drew back and it, it sent one his way and he took off maybe 100 yards and down. But, that's one like hunt that'll stick in my mind forever just because the close encounter, bugling in the face, it was just so exciting and it was a good time. I think the family time with everybody, it was just so clean and just good, innocent family time. I think that's a huge thing. It makes a huge impact on families. Looking back at that moment when I shot that ram, even still I can get emotional about it. I saw him through my scope. He dropped, he pancaked. But I could hear Will's. I can hear Will's voice right now. You got him. You dropped him. And I remember looking over at Lance for confirmation. He's like, "You did it." And it was so much emotion in that moment. Not just the ram itself. Yes, was an accomplishment. But it was everything that went into that. All the time spent with all these guys and the bonds we made in the last few days and the hard work and just everything we put in like our heart and soul into this hunt the time at home preparing for this hunt all boiled down to this one moment and it was just so emotional unless you've been there done it i don't think i could probably explain it how it felt at that moment after this hunt robin and i looked at each other and you know reminiscing on the hunt we coined the phrase Chugach tough because everything from this point forward in our hunting career will be measured up against that hunt.